Hey there, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm gonna show you all of the different message management features that you have access to as part of your .notify account. These features are gonna help you manage your messages, announcements, and reminders as you move forward and schedule more. If you don't have a .notify account yet and you want to set one up for your server, it's free to do so. You can connect your Discord. There will be a link around this video uh, somewhere. Connect your Discord and your server and you'll be ready to go with what I'm about to show you here. So the first thing to point out here is that every single message you schedule within your .notify account for your server, whether that's a one-time announcement, a recurring or reminder message, or an embed message, will sit on your dashboard here ready for you to manage. Now you can switch between the different types of messages at the top here. So I'm currently looking at my one-time messages. So all of these messages are to be sent one time at a certain date and time and to our channel here. And you can also switch to recurring, which will show you your reminder messages as you set these up. Again, you've got a toggle here. So I'm currently looking at daily. You can switch that to all or monthly or weekly. You can also switch between standard standard messages and your embed messages over on this right hand side as well. So if I switch it back to one time, I'm now looking at the embed messages I've set up for my server. So that's the first thing to point out. Anything you create or schedule will sit on this dashboard once you do that. Now this is where you can manage your messages as you move forward. So what you will see on every single message are these three dots. Now, when you click on these three dots, it's going to give you options for that message. Now, these options do change depending on what the message is, but just looking at our one-time or standard messages here, as you can see, we can simply edit the message. So if you want to make a change, maybe the date or time you want to change, or there's a typo, or you want to add something to the message, as long as it is again scheduled, so it hasn't been sent, we can just click on edit. That's going to take you through to the edit page here, where you can make any changes you want. Once you made any changes you can click update and that will automatically and instantly update that message for you so it's really easy to edit any message within your dot notify dashboard the next thing is copy so under edit you've also got the option to copy your messages now this is a little bit of a hack to speed up your announcement creation on your Discord server. You don't have to type out every message from scratch. You can simply use our one-click copy feature here, and I can copy this message and set it up as a brand new message. So if I click on copy, it's going to populate that message for me, ready to go. I can make any changes I want to this message. I can change the date and the time here, and I can click schedule, and that will schedule a brand new message. So copying messages in one click is really, really simple. Now, the different ways you can use this feature is, of course, to save you time in creating multiple messages. If you want to send the same message, but slightly different maybe to different channels or at different time zones, rather than try and type these out from scratch every single time, you can simply copy these messages in one click and just change the date, time, and any text or content within that message that you want. So it's a really, really powerful feature. Underneath copy, we've also got the option to delete as well. So if there is a message you no longer want, so say for example, this one, I can just simply click on delete. That's going to remove it from your account and that won't be sent. So as you can see, it's gone now. So when it comes to our one-time messages, our standard messages, and our embed messages follow the same feature set. So again, on our embed messages here, I can edit this message, I can copy it with one click or I can delete it as well. If I click on edit, as you will see here, all of the fields that I have set up for my embed message here are populated for me to actually edit or add to. This is really, really powerful when it comes to editing messages because sometimes you may want to add a little bit extra to your embed message that you missed. Now you don't have to go and recreate that from scratch. A simple click on the edit option here will allow you to edit that and add to it however you wish. And again, updating that message will update and save that ready to go instantly. Now, there is one other feature in relation to managing your messages you need to be aware of as well, and that sits under our recurring tag here. So basically, your reminder messages. Now, our reminder messages or your reminder messages that you set up work in exactly the same way as our one-time messages where you can edit, copy, and delete these in one click. So again, if you've got a reminder message that you want to change the time maybe that it runs, maybe even the frequency, or you want to add some content, remove content, you can simply 
simply click edit and it works in just the same way. You can edit up your reminder message in one click. The same goes for copying as well. If you want to create a copy of a reminder message to set up a separate message, you don't want to create from scratch. Again, clicking copy will automatically copy that message in one click and allow you to then edit that up and save or schedule that for any other day or time. Now, one other option here, which you will have seen, is you also have the ability to pause these. So if you have a reminder message running that you no longer want to run or you want to skip a couple of weeks or skip a couple of frequencies, then you can do with one click. By clicking pause, that will immediately pause that message from sending. So that message will no longer send. It will sit across in your paused area here. And again, if you want to set that live, we just click on resume and it will automatically set that live again to run at the time and date and frequency that you've chosen. We created Dot Notify to make it as easy as possible for you to manage your announcements, reminders and messages for your Discord server. So hopefully these message management features speed things up for you, make it easier to create multiple announcements and just allow you to have more control and flexibility over everything you announce or remind on your server and within your community. Of course, if you've got any questions, do let us know. You can visit .notify.io forward slash help and you can contact us directly there. Alternatively, join our Discord server as well. You'll find a link to that inside of your .notify account. If you don't have a .notify account yet, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can connect your Discord server for free and use the features I've just shown you here. We hope you do. We hope you enjoyed .notify. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.